What do you think about Chris Rock's joke slash response to Will Smith? Oh, it was super weak. He was given an absolute layup and he fumbled it so hard. I didn't watch the whole special. I only saw clips, but it was rough, man. Like, you had such an easy one. But instead of, like, actually making jokes about it, he just whines about it. It was a shame. Like, he had the right energy, but he didn't capitalize off it. All he just kept saying is, They called you a bitch. Then 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 they called you a bitch. You a bitch. And then he just keeps talking about how he got slapped. But he doesn't make any jokes about it. It was such a waste. Didn't watch the Demon Slayer movie. So I couldn't tell you. He's being matter of fact, at least in my eyes. Yeah, I mean, he didn't say anything wrong. He was right about everything he said about the whole slap shit. Then his wife openly cheating on him and talking about it and then interviewing him. But it's a comedy show. Why are you going to go up there and just whine? Make jokes about it instead of just, like, spit matter of facts. Comedy has become more lectures than anything now. At least from, like, a lot of comedic er, comedians. It's really boring. Like, yeah, he, I mean, he, he's right. His, his lecture was correct, but I wasn't laughing. Make jokes about it. But yeah, we were already talking about the Chris Brown stuff a minute ago. I didn't see the whole thing, but everything I saw just was kind of lame. I was hoping it'd be like good material, but it was literally just saying like, he slapped me and people called him a bitch. He just had an easy slam dunk and he, he didn't take it. Yeah, I've got the Dragon Ball Z game up right here. I see some Mac error and coffee and slips. Oh, did I say Chris Brown? Oh, sorry. I had Chris Brown on the mind because I rewatched that clip of him throwing that girl's cell phone earlier today. That clip actually goes so hard. When is the Oscars? I don't know. That shit's going to be locked down like Fort Knox, though, after this whole Will Smith, Chris Rock thing. They're going to have, like, armed muscle out the wazoo. It was a good special. That's good. I hope it was. Like I said, though, everything I saw wasn't great. It was literally just another lecture. A lot of stand-up comedy has just become lecturing. He just had so much to work with off that slap, but instead just chose to be like, he slapped me because he knew he could beat me up, and then everyone called him a bitch, and then he just, like, names the people that called him a bitch for a while. And the bits to do ya. Do you watch comedians very often? Not so much anymore. I'm not a huge stand-up comedy fan. I think there's some flex. I watched a lot during the Norm Macdonald era, and a lot of Mitch Hedberg back in the day. Then like classic Chappelle. You had a favorite? What, stand-up comic? Yeah, Norm Macdonald. I think Norm Macdonald was the master of stand-up comedy. <laughs> Man was the goat. Thanks for resub Bin Laws and the resub Sunny. Oh, I have no doubt there's still good comedians. That's not at all what I'm saying. I just, I don't keep up too much anymore. And I think maybe I'm locked in like a, uh, a chamber where I only hear about the worst comedians. I know Roseanne came back to stand-up comedy. And I watched a little bit of that because I was curious how that would go. And it was just another fucking lecture. I, comedy has been conflated with like TED Talks now. At least a lot of it that I've seen recently where people just go up there and they will literally just say things to make the audience clap. Like, yeah, that's fucking right. You're right. But it's not, it doesn't, like, it doesn't make me laugh at all. Like, everything Chris Rock said about Will Smith here and his wife cheating on him is 100% right. Totally accurate. I completely agree. Pumping my fist. You're right, Chris. But you know what I'm not doing is laughing. Like, it's not making me laugh. Yeah, 
You could do this, like, you could still deliver the same message, but tell it with jokes instead of just, like, matter of fact. It's the point of comedy. Is there some jabs in the bits, Rotok? Oh, I haven't watched anything from Mark Norman in a while. I do remember that name, though. Is this the Netflix one? Yeah, I think it was a Netflix one. <laughs> Gringo Pappy equals legendary. Uh, good old Brendan Schaub. The gold standard of stand-up, yes. Dicey, dicey indeed. <laughs> Very cool. Thanks to the anonymous five gift subs. And then the five gift subs, Venom. Thank you for that. Appreciate the back-to-back -back and the Prime Joe. And then you said Bruno. Does anyone actually like him? Brendan Schaub? I don't know. Probably not. I don't know how you do. <laughs> like he, he is the Amy Schumer. Like the male Amy Schumer. Even worse than James Corden when it comes to like stand-up. Well, I guess with James Corden, it's not really stand-up. Even worse than James Corden when it comes to, like, general comedy. I've talked about Brendan Schaub so much. What's he up to these days? Didn't he bribe people with coupons to give good reviews to his comedy special? I don't know if it was coupons, but he did do something where if you left a good review of his comedy special, you got something in return, but he still ended up getting a 1.5 on IMDb. Even with that bribery, so didn't really work out. I'm pretty sure the people that watch him are like the same ones in his subreddit that literally just treat it all like a line kitchen. And they just make fun of him forever. Thanks for your sub doll stars. What do you mean like a line kitchen? In the subreddit, I forgot what the subreddit is. It's for it's like the main one for his podcast. And I forgot the name of his fucking podcast. It's like Superboy Super Sports or st fuck what is it? Someone help me out. What is, it's a it's it's something with an oh fighter and the kid. I was way off. <laughs> I was not even close. Yeah, fighter and the kid though. Uh, his subreddit is basically just people treating it like they work at like a PF Chang's. So they're talking like, hey. Big Pappy's got a new order of wings out the oven here. He's not gonna like this one. Whenever they're talking about like Shab or whatever the fuck is going on with his new shit. It's it's wild. Like they do like full RP in his subreddit. It's great. Brendan Shab's former manager revealed he continuously pisses in the sink in front of his employees. Man, that's so that's such an awesome place to work, I bet. They're so lucky. Don't know if that's true or not, but I wouldn't be surprised. Howie Mandel roasted Shab on his mangina he had on Impulsive. I don't even know what that sentence means. But I will say something. Howie Mandel goes so hard on TikTok for some reason. I still remember when he went off the rails. He posted that picture of some guy's completely prolapsed ass and asked if it was a symptom of COVID. <laughs> <laughs> out of fucking nowhere like the rest of his tiktok was like really normal shit like america's got talent can't wait to judge and then fully flopped out anus it was crazy i was that was like an actual good one from howie